The Cathedral of St. Mary really is the spiritual heart of the diocese. We're a block away from the capital, so we are very much a part of Austin and the history of the state of Texas. There were many important figures who would have walked past the cathedral, many would have stopped by to pray. It's a place where the importance of God's love and His law have met the importance of our daily endeavors here in Texas. And I believe that that's also part of the school history as well. This is the sesquicentennial of the school, so I'm extremely proud knowing that so many people uh, have been formed by our Catholic school there at St. Mary's. To know that we're on grounds that people were 100 and 150 years ago, learning the gospel message about how to be good people, and to know that the children that we're teaching today are affecting the world just as others were 150 years ago. It's a really special time to be part of our community. It's very special to me because first of all, it's, it's the cathedral school, so it's my school in reality. So I'm extremely proud knowing that so many people have been formed by our Catholic school there at St. Mary's. This is a yearbook from 1961. This is my brother Larry's yearbook. I started first grade at St. Mary's in 1945, graduated in 1953. I always felt like I am the person today, hopefully not too bad, that my Catholic education made for me. I started in first grade and was fortunate enough to graduate from here, eighth grade. I am now back as the pre-K-3 teacher. In the name of the Father, the Son. It was like coming home again. You walk into the school and the faces have changed but the heart of this school has remained the same. One of the really unique things about being a small school is that the teachers know the students very well. There's a fewer amount of kids, so I get more, let's say, attention, but like more help on work if I need something. We go through pretty extensive assessment for our children so that we know where they are. We do our standardized testing at the beginning of the year and then we create portfolios for each student that shows our teacher where they are academically in each level. A lot of our spending goes towards curriculum and improving the needs in the classroom, making sure that we prepare our teachers, and then making sure that we have the most modern, innovative material inside the classroom for the children. Over the last year, the donations we've received from our fundraisers, specifically from our gala, purchased a computer for every student from grades one through eight, so each of them have their own device. Not only does the Cathedral School offer a strong academic foundation, but we help to support children in their religious development and their spiritual development. Teaching isn't just simply about information that's passed on to somebody, but it's about forming persons. And so Catholic education is always about forming the whole individual. It's about forming the heart, the mind, the spirit of the individual so that they then have this understanding of who they are. I am religious and weird. I am about human thoughts. I'm a mind reader. I'm a disaster. I'm my friends together. I am God's creation. I think the I foundation being in a Catholic mind. school lays for a kid. I am a blooming Catholic flower. Has a, a lasting effect all their lives. I know it did with me. The way things are in the world today, uh, especially in schools that are non-Christian, uh, it's pretty hard to live a good life. I think we enforce that here. One, two, three, good girls. The children are very comfortable expressing their faith and they're not afraid to, you know, be themselves. Just to know that people believe in what I believe in makes me feel comfortable because I can talk about what I believe in to them and they'll understand. The children at our school really enjoy going to Mass. I look forward to it every Wednesday and I'm always excited. They do the readings, they pass the baskets, they do the prayers of the faithful, and they also each get a turn singing in a choir. I believe our liturgies are really uh, alive and uh, I think part of it is because there's a sense of community here. It is about the prayer to them, but it's also about praying with people and sharing in that community. 
Cathedral School of St. Mary enriches students and their families spiritually, academically, and socially by fostering a diverse community through, within, and the teachings of Jesus Christ. Throughout the years, parents and parishioners there have contributed. They've sacrificed a great deal to keep Catholic education going. So I'm very pleased for that, and I just want to say a big thank you to all of you, and continue to support our school because we need that tradition to continue. The doors of the school wouldn't be open if it wasn't for our donors. Our student body wouldn't be as diverse if it wasn't for our donors. The people that give of their time, the people that give money to the school, really have lifted this place and made it unique. I love St. Mary's, I love the cathedral, I love this school, and I say, go Eagles!